Welcome to josephsmithspolygamy.org, the audio version. Patty Bartlett, sailed on March 9, 1842. Patty Bartlett was born on February 4, 1795, to Enoch Bartlett and Anna Hall in Bethel, Maine. She married David Sessions on June 28, 1812. In August 1833, Patty was introduced to the restored gospel, and according to her son, as soon as my mother heard, she believed and was baptized on July 2, 1834. The family moved to Missouri in 1837 and then on to Nauvoo, Illinois, three years later. Patty Bartlett was sealed to Joseph Smith on March 9, 1842. A June 1860 handwritten entry from the diary of Patty Sessions reported she was sealed for eternity. Patty Bartlett, daughter of Enoch and Ann Bartlett, was born February 4, 1795, Bethel, Maine, and was married to David Sessions, June 28, 1812, who was the son of David and Rachel Sessions. He was born April the 4th, 1790, Bestshire, Vermont. I was baptized into the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, July 2, 1834. Mr. Sessions was baptized August 1735. We received our endowment December 16, 1845 in Nauvoo. I was sealed to Joseph Smith by Willard Richards, March 9, 1842, in Noel K. Whitney's chamber, Nauvoo, for eternity, and I, and if I do not live to attend to it myself, when there is a place prepared, I want someone to attend to it for me according to order. Sylvia, my daughter, was present when I was sealed to Joseph Smith. I was, after Mr. Sessions' death, sealed to John Perry, Sr. for time, on the 27th of March, 1852, Great Salt Lake City. In this entry, Patty states that she was sealed for eternity to Joseph Smith. This is similar to the language found in other eternity-only sealings. Seven years later, Patty signed an affidavit providing much of the same information. I, Patty Bartlett, daughter of Enoch and Anna Bartlett, was born February 4, 1795, town of Bethel, state of Maine. I was baptized into the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, July 2, 1834. I was sealed to Joseph Smith the Prophet by Willard Richards, March the 9th, 1842, in Nauvoo, in Noel K. Whitney's chamber. Sylvia, my daughter, was present. I received my endowment in Nauvoo, December 16, 1845. I never was sealed at the altar to anyone. Yours truly, Patty Sessions. David and Patty Sessions attended the Nauvoo Temple together, receiving their endowments on December 15, 1845, but they were not sealed in marriage. Her original sealing to Joseph was not performed in the temple because the Nauvoo Temple was not yet completed. Apparently, all marriage sealings performed outside of a temple needed to be performed again, in person or by proxy, within a temple edifice in the future. In 1845 to 1846, many of Joseph Smith's plural wives were resealed to him by proxy there. Similarly, in 1899, President Lorenzo Snow instructed church historians to compile a list of women sealed to Joseph Smith for whom a written temple record was not available. Subsequently, proxy sealings were performed for 11 plural marriages. The reason Patty Sessions was not resealed to Joseph Smith by proxy in the Nauvoo Temple is unclear. It is possible that she was unsure of her desires, or perhaps her preference to be the prophet's eternal wife rather than David Sessions created tension to the degree that the resealing was not then considered. As of 1867, a repeated proxy sealing had not yet been performed. It appears that just weeks after receiving the affidavit at church headquarters, priesthood leaders invited Patty to be resealed, with Apostle Joseph F. Smith serving vicariously for his uncle Joseph Smith. A July 3, 1867 entry in Patty's personal journal reads, I was sealed to Joseph F. Smith for time and all eternity. He, Joseph F. Smith, 
acting for and in behalf of his uncle Joseph Smith, the prophet, who was martyred June 27, 1844, in Carthage Jail, with his brother Hiram, Joseph F.'s father, signed Patty Sessions. After receiving this proxy sealing, Patty's journal indicates that she went back and made an addition to her 1860 entry interlinearly above the sentence describing her sealing to Joseph. I was sealed to Joseph Smith by Willard Richards, March 9, 1842, in Noel K. Whitney's chamber, Nauvoo, for slash time and all eternity slash. Time and eternity was the standard language of the time. Patty Bartlett kept a Nauvoo journal that mentioned several of her interactions with Joseph Smith. Women's exponent editor Emmeline Wells paraphrased multiple entries in a November 15, 1884 article. On the 13th of December, 1842, she was very sick. The prophet came and laid hands on her, and she was healed. From that time, she speaks of Joseph having visited at her house almost daily. On the 30th, June, 1843, she says Brother Joseph is at home again. She went to see him and then heard him address the people. October 3rd, 1843, she took dinner at the Prophet Joseph's. The whereabouts of Patty's original Nauvoo journal is unknown. Neither have Emmeline's pre-publication notes for the Women's Exponent articles been located. Many documents housed in the Women's Exponent office were destroyed due to a fire and a flood, but whether the Sessions diaries or other important manuscripts were among them is not clear. Her obituary recorded, Sister Session drove her own team 1,030 miles, arriving in Salt Lake Valley September 28, 1847. She had assisted liberally in the building of temples, done much to send the gospel to the nations of the earth and gather the poor. She has been a strict observer of the word of wisdom, not have drunk tea or coffee for over 40 years. She was ever a true and faithful Latter-day Saint, diligent and persevering, her whole soul and all she possessed being devoted to the church and the welfare of mankind. She has gone to her grave ripe in years, loved and respected by all who knew her.